And now the exciting news is that Eric the Midget is on our side. Eric. Uh, good morning. Hey. Wow. Our buddy, Eric. Is this my pal? You for once having some fun? Yeah. <laughs> now, how did this all occur? I mean, I was away for the week. What, what changed your mind? Well, one of the contributing factors is because I was not confident in myself enough with this wrestling trivia contest that I knew if I was going to lose it, I was going to have to vote for him anyway. Right. So mm -hmm. I was trying to do this to get myself out of this wrestling contest. But oh. um, also... <laughs> The fact that, you know, after watching as much TV as I watched, I kind of see that this, the deck is severely stacked against me. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, like the Kenny Rogers song, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm for one, I'm kind of sad that you're not against this because it was fun battling you, but yeah. I even believe... Cele even celebrities now like Jennifer Lopez and Pink are going for him. <laughs> yes. So you've come over, and I welcome you. And uh, how many times did you vote for Sanjay last week? Well, after I got off air with Ralph, I voted over about, I think, 125. Nice. Wow. All That's right, Eric. cool, Eric. All right. That's good. If you, now, now, how do you feel that you're voting for Sanjay? Has it made you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. You feel like you're in on the fun. I even have the recorded proof. That I wrote it. I to prove to you guys, if you ever needed me to, I recorded the vote for Sanjaya message that you get when you call this. Play me the proof, because I don't even believe it. We will need that proof. Hang on a minute. All right. Robin, here's the proof All that right. Eric the We will hear what they say when you vote for Sanjaya. Party, there's proof. Okay. <laughs> we don't want fraud. Play it for each vote. I only recorded one. All right. Could have played it a couple of times. We'll know of one sure vote. I figured one out of the 125 was good enough to record. Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. Vote Sanjaya. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Please vote for Sanjaya. Please vote. Oh, there it is. There's yeah. proof. Yeah. There's proof. Good for you, Eric. Good for you, Eric. A man of your word. <laughs> well, Eric, uh, not much to talk about now that you're voting for yeah. him. So. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, is Ralph going to do another one of those? I heard it was a big hit. Yes, I believe Ralph will be doing another one. I thought of uh, someone they could possibly get for this week. So Beth, Beth knows Diana DeGarmo could see if she could get uh, Diana to either call in or... <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll check with Beth on that. Thank you, What is his conversation with Diana DeGarmo? He likes her. What's a fucker? Mm. No, I want What's to date her. When you want to ultimately fuck her, though, put your midget dick in Yeah, her. you don't want to just date her. All right. That's up to her. Not no, me. of course you can't force yourself on her. Uh, we can give her. We can give you her answer now. Eric. Artie seems to know her answer. Yeah, no fucking way in hell. <laughs> <laughs> but don't lose hope. Uh, not even if you were the last freakish midget with a cock on Earth. That's not an absolute no. <laughs> no, it's. It doesn't uh, sound like the door is completely closed. Yeah, well, no. All right, it's a no. It's an <laughs> absolute no on the dating and the fucking. <laughs> that's, that's something you hear a lot about, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Speaking I know, ladies, I know what a chick means no. <laughs> I'm yes, never in a mood for a jam. Uh, Artie, sometimes every I song am. on that channel is 40 minutes. It's insane. Yeah. Self-indulgent. Uh, Eric, you still there? Yeah. <laughs> Where's he going? Where's he going? Well, now that he's our buddy, he gets to hang. Don't you do have things to do? Not exactly. Waiting for the trivia contest. Oh, is no. that today? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were waiting for American Idol. Might as well say that. Yeah, i got to do the weigh-in. i got to do uh, Eric the Midget Wrestling Trivia. Let me look at the schedule. Playboy Playmate Shannon James is going to stop by. Can't wait to see her. That's a full show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that, now that I'm on your site, can you please change the name from Eric 
the midget to Eric the actor? No. <laughs> We're gonna. How about Eric the Sanjay affair? <laughs> Eric, I'll talk to you tomorrow when we get ready for the vote. Well, you have to talk to me later. Oh, all right, all right, I'll put right, you back on hold. Trivia question. You want to be on hold or you want us to call you back? Uh, call me back. All right. Yeah, it's kind of stupid now doing the trivia thing, but the, the other trivia guy threw himself in and stuff, so. Uh, What's the trivia thing with the... Yeah, here's what happened. This guy goes, I could beat Eric in a wrestling, because Eric's really into wrestling, into a wrestling trivia contest. So I said to Eric, I tell you what, if you lose, you have to vote for Sandra. Oh, okay. So yeah. just, you know. So that's why he switched. He didn't have any confidence in his ability. Right. The whole thing's going to be just fucking dumb now. No, no. Does anybody care if Eric the Midget can win a wrestling trivia contest? Can I just no, give these guys prizes? it doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, bring that kid in and want to... Let's just see if he knows anything about wrestling. Yeah, this is the shit that we had planned and it went horribly wrong. We originally planned this because Eric the Midget was against voting for Sanjaya. In case you haven't heard, Eric the Midget is now voting for Sanjaya. He's already given in. Yeah. He's with us now. He's, he's joined the dark side. What's your name, dude? I'm Vito. How you doing? Hey, Vito. What's happening? Not much. Uh, you're evidently a fan of wrestling and yeah. you knew a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you, were, you, got, you guys were actually playing for kind of a... Uh, prize you guys might like uh, the wrestlemania anthology dvd set worth two hundred dollars are you serious yeah. I rather, is that good what is what well, is the uh, it's, it's like i don't know I, it's, they put all 22 wrestlemanias together but it's like 250 dollars right I mean, well not pay, i would never pay that well you get it for free well, uh, you great. also get the wwe championship belt worth three hundred dollars from the new movie the condemned starring stone cold steve austin in theaters everywhere awesome. april 27th and uh then uh i don't know i guess that was the prize but you guys want to play for it I, I, yeah, I'll still play for it. I have no problem. I, I can beat him very easily. Uh, I think Eric would like those prizes. I, I think Eric doesn't know anything about it personally because that's why he's voting for Sanjaya now because he knows he can't beat me. I also like what this guy had to do if he lost. What did he have to do? Uh, I think Sal was going to dip his balls in pudding and give him the, uh, the, the raccoon thing. Oh, give him raccoon eyes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, then let's do it. Uh, get Eric the Midget on the phone. We're working on it. We almost got him. So if you lose, Sal's going to dip his balls in chocolate. I actually thought it was Sal and Richard, so just one of them is not as bad. That's not so bad. And then they're going to give you raccoon eyes. Well, you don't I, like I, I'm ugly anyway, so what's the difference? Have you ever gotten a lady? Have you ever gotten a girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have. Well, uh, not as much. Obviously not if I'm a wrestling fan, so. Right. <laughs> but. All right. So you can, at least you get some contact with a guy. You'll have some balls in your... <laughs> at least it's contact with a human being. Yeah. All right. Let me get Eric on the phone. Our guys are working on that right now. And as soon as that happens, we'll be in business. Can you see Eric carrying around that big belt? The belt is bigger than me. Hey, Eric, as it turns out, there's some decent prizes in this for you. Okay. Did you hear what they are? Uh, something about a belt and... I couldn't really tell something about WrestleMania. Yes, the anthology DVD set worth like 200 bucks. Okay, yeah. And a, and a belt, championship belt worth three hundred dollars from the new movie The Condemned, starring Stone Cold Steve Austin. Are you a fan, a fan of his? Yeah, I'm going to go see that movie. All right. So, we'll so hear you'd out. like that? Yeah. All right. Now, if you the, the fun part of this is if you beat this guy, not only do you get the prizes, but he gets his he gets his ball, it gets Sal's balls in his eyes and gets raccoon eyes ah. from chocolate. So we would like you to win this. All right. I'll start with you, Eric. Eric the Midget. And then we'll go to Vito. You ready, Vito? Oh, yeah. All right. Eric the Midget. In Rocky Three, Sylvester Stallone's character wrestled Hulk Hogan's character. What was the name of Hulk Hogan's character? Well, how's that wrestling trivia? That's a movie trivia. Because it starred a wrestler, and you should know this. i never seen that movie. All right. So the answer is you don't know. You don't know. No. Okay. We're going to go over to Vito. Vito? Thunderlips, the ultimate male. Hulk Hogan played the part. Absolutely obviously. correct. Thunderlips is a... Wow. Thunderlips. Thunderlips. Wow. Vito has one. I'm shocked that you didn't know that, Eric. Come they on, Eric. started off with a softball. Eric, you got to win this because we want to see him get the raccoon eyes. I know. All right, Eric the Midget. Donald Trump shaved Vince McMahon's head at WrestleMania last week. What wrestler right. represented Trump in the match? Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is correct. Very good. 
Franklin Roberto Lashley is right. his real name. Okay. Oh. Let's go to Vito. Vito, Howard and Artie's favorite wrestler, Goldust, is the son of what 1970s and 1980s wrestling legend? Dusty Rhodes, better known by his real name of Virgil I. Runnels. That is correct, right. Dusty Rhodes. You are some wrestling maniac, aren't you? The yes. score is two to one. <laughs> <laughs> Eric DeMidget, NFL legend and New York Giant Lawrence Taylor wrestled in the main event at WrestleMania 11. Bam Bam Bigelow. That is correct. Against Whoa. what recently deceased wrestler? Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam, Bam died of a cocaine you. overdose. All right. Scott Bigelow was his real name. All right. Here we go. One of the worst things in history is watching LT do that. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Bam Bam thought so. Mm. Told himself. <laughs> I almost did. All right, whose turn is it now? It's uh, Vinny's or v Vito. Vito. Sorry about that, Vito. Uh, close enough, Robin. <laughs> you win a prize tag. <laughs> yeah, we're all the same, aren't we, Robin, Vito, Vinny? Yeah. Comedian Andy Kaufman, you remember him. He had a staged feud with what wrestler in the 1980s? Ah. Hold on, that's a tough one. Well, hold on. Jerry the King Lawler. Yeah. Oh, okay, you were being sarcastic. I, I think I knew that. that. Right. We're insulting him with the you, you level really, of questions. I, you really are. I don't mean to be offensive, but you really right, are. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Eric the Midget. In 1998, Jay Leno and NBA legend Carl Malone each teamed up with the same wrestler in a separate pay-per-view tag team match. Name the wrestler. Page. That is correct. Oh, look at these two. Vito, we're sorry. We only meant to insult Eric. Oh, that's all right. Fat ass. <laughs> now, who are you insulting there? Artie. <laughs> we know. I, I don't know what Vito looks like. <laughs> Vito's very handsome. I say I'm Artie without the talent. Most of, <laughs> most of the time. No, he's, not, he's, he's pretty thin, this guy. He's looking all right. All right here we go. Um, who's, uh, who's the turn, Rob? It is Vito's all turn. All right. Or Vinny or whatever. <laughs> George Bush Sr. and Bill Clinton are both former wrestling fans. Really? What WWE wrestler? Campaigned with George Bush Sr. in 1992. Oh, Christ. I was only eight years old when that happened. That's well, right. that's not our problem. It is not your problem. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Apparently, we got sick of insulting you, Thank Vito. You. Do you know the answer, Vito? I'd say Hulk Hogan. That is wrong. Let's go to Eric the Midget. Do you know? You could, you could uh, move ahead in this contest. No. Or even it up. No, it's 3 3. Oh, really? Yep. I don't know how that happened. Didn't yeah, Eric, I don't Eric missed no. one. Yeah, Eric missed one. He got it. I don't know. I get the score at 3-3, but... He's, he should be ahead. Is someone else keeping score? Because obviously I can't. <laughs> I have 3-3 three, three also. Me too. How about him? Well, we must have asked one extra question to Eric, oh, so we'll, okay. we'll ask, ask uh, Vito an extra question. But Eric, do you know the answer? No, not at all. Oh, oh you're yeah. not well, making up any ground here. The answer is Ric Flair. Ric oh, Flair. Flair. Gee, you know, I even met him <laughs> Hey, uh, you can't say it after Howard said it. Oh, Flair. Oh, you meant Flair with an F. <laughs> okay, now I'll ask Vito a question so that you can... All right. So it'll be fair. Before Jesse Ventura became governor of Minnesota, he was the mayor of what city in Minnesota? Brooklyn Park. That's correct. Whoa. Oh, nice. All right. Now, Vito... You don't even know politics. In order to be fair, I'm going to ask you another question okay. because I obviously went out of order. Okay, before John Cena, or is it Senna? Cena. Okay, before John Cena signed with the WWE, he wrestled independently using what name? The prototype. That half man, correct. half machine. Exactly right. UPW out in California. All right, Eric, now it's your turn. This is crazy. Name the only Jew Jewish wrestler to pin Hulk Hogan for the WCW title. That would be Flair. Wrong. Wrong. Let's go. This is it. Vito, you could you could just ah. move way ahead. What is it? I don't know. That's a tough one. What? Goldberg? Yes. I was going to say, what? Oh. it's got to be Goldberg. How many Jewish wrestlers are there? Rick Flairstein? Six to three. Uh, you, you, uh, fortunately for you, you're not going to get well, the ball. If you've got any extra prizes, I would still be willing to get the raccoon eyes. You would. Yes. For you got, an additional you wanna, prize? You want to spice, up, spice well, it up a little bit. In the world of satellite, we have no additional well, prize. I got, well, you know, I, feel, I kind of feel like I'm letting the audience down because I wouldn't want to watch this unless I got my... I got Howard TV, so... It sounds I, like you want balls no, on I, your eyes. I really okay. don't, but I, I would... This. I feel like I'm letting the audience down. I'm going to go for a shameless plug here, and what's your shirt say again? 
Artie Lang, it's the whiskey talking. It's I can give you more DVDs. I can give I've, got, you... I've got beer league at home, and I've got them all, but I just bought dirty work, actually, too. Oh, oh my God. So, so can... we owe him money. <laughs> yeah. We got nothing prize-wise. I, I can see he's a big fan of the show. I'm a huge fan of the show. Wait, so if, we, if, I get, if I said that you could take a photograph with Howard afterwards, and Howard would personally sign an autograph picture for you, does that get anything for you? Yes. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. All right. Howard, do you Howard's got do that? Spell. I'm under Howard's spell. <laughs> see, I don't think that's fair, but we would do that for him anyway, but... Um, if you, yeah, yeah. In order to get the picture, you have to take the balls to the eyes. <laughs> hey, that's all right. All right, I'm sorry. That's the way right, it goes. Eric, right it turns out you don't yeah. have the most wrestling knowledge. Eric, it turns out we found a bigger nerd than you. Yes. <laughs> oh well. No belt for you, and no WrestleMania anthology. Like I said, I didn't guarantee I was going to beat this guy. All right. Thank you. you. Did pretty well, though. You did well. I never claimed to be an expert. Yes, you did. Several times, Eric. Yeah, you did, actually. Oh, you're, you're, you're humiliated. That's why you changed midweek, Eric, because you knew you couldn't beat me. A fan, yes, but I never claimed to be an expert on wrestling. Okay, you're just the idol expert, right? That's why you're switching for Sanjaya, the worst one ever, like you said, right? <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. I all over here. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's got nothing. Eric, I would rather drive down the street than walk, if that makes you feel any worse. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Okay. Bye for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> All right, Eric the Midget Wrestling Trivia.